In this video, we're going to walk through the process of downloading Makun. This will be the tool we use to mock our API throughout the course. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is open up your preferred browser, Chrome, Firefox, Safari. Once you have your browser open and running, head over to www.makun.com and hit enter. You'll land on the Makun homepage. Feel free to explore the features and documentation if you're curious. But for now, let's focus on getting the software downloaded. Click on the download button. On this screen, we have the option of downloading it per operating system. So obviously we're gonna select Mac OS or maybe you're on something else. Then choose the right file that you need for your computer. And that's all we need to do in this section. In the next video, we'll go over how to use it. You should now have Makun installed and let's kind of go over what Makun does and how it works. When you first load the app, you'll see this demo API here. You'll see the local host 3001. And then they have a couple of examples of how to use getting, posting, and then have another get. And here's a put and here's a get. And each one of them does a little bit different. Here we have a way to change the different types of responses and we'll see how that works in connection with setting up our APIs. So you can come in here and if you wanna say that something isn't there or 301 like redirects or if not found or forbidden or whatever, you can basically use this. You can, um, you can have header data in here. If you go into here, you can put data into here. Um, we have different settings that you can change. So here you can set the the pro, the um, port number in in the, for the different API that you're going to do. So everything is here. You have the routes and then we can start the server and hit play. So let's do that first. What we're going to do is we're going to import and open the environment. So I'm going to open it and this file will be located in your project files for the chapter. So I'm gonna import watch store API JSON and you'll see that here it loaded in and the port is set up. So for us, it's gonna be 127.0.0.0.1 with port 3000. And again, if this is wrong or it changed, you can just go into the settings and you can fix the port number here if it's not the same as mine. Now, once you have this, we can go back and we can see the route. So here, the route is in is here. It says product filters and it says products. And if you want to change them, you would just change them here. So like product filters, new, and now this is changed. But we're going to leave it as product filters. Now, all we have to do is tap on the start server and the, the um, API is live. And you can go to... One dot, you can go to 127.0.0.1 and you'll see it, or you can pick the, the route that you want and you click on this method here and this will take you to the site. Okay, so this is what happens when you hit the launch button from Makun and you can see we have JSON. Now, I have a plugin installed for JSON that shows it uh, in this format. So yours may be in regular. You can download the plugin and let's see, it has uh, buy me a coffee for this guy is the one that that did the the actual plugin. Uh, if you go into Safari plugins, you can do you can look for this as a JSON pretty fire or something like that. Uh, they have one for Chrome as well. So you can go there and do those. But here you can see all of the JSON and, and everything that it, that you would that the phone is going to see is basically what you're you're going to see in this browser. If you hit that button and it doesn't take you anywhere, that means the server is not started or there's something that you need to fix. But you can minimize some of the code. That's what's great about this. And I really like it. Now, now that we've seen products, we can also look. We don't have to rehit that button by all we have to do is just say product filters, product singular dash filters and hit return. And now you'll see all of the product filters in JSON as well. So now that we've looked at what we what it looks like in the browser and how the JSON is formatted, let's go back to Makun and cover a couple extra things. Now that you've seen how Makun works, you see what the data is 
Um, just a couple of notes before we even before I stop inside of here, you can minimize things and see how the wor data is working. Anytime you want to just make some changes to the data, you can do them here. Now, some of these are are based off filters. And so anything that you change in here, if you if you don't change it in the data, it's going to mess it up. So I would just be mindful of that. If you do do some changes, make sure you save that file or just re-download it and keep it and make the changes you want just in case you uh, mess it up or do whatever. But you can do any changes here. Uh, you'll see here where it says featured. And anytime you want to change and swap out the featured watches, you can just change it here. Uh, we, right now we do four. So I wouldn't go past four, but you could probably display six if you want or eight. Right now we're doing four, but if you would like to change that, you can change it here. OK, so let's get to the let's get into the API and let's learn about what we're going to do and get started.